Hello, I'm back again with uh, kind of a tutorial, whatever. This time it's going to be how I remake my tracks, or well, actually, other people's tracks. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, this is special released about an hour ago, and I absolutely love it. I loved it when. Oh, they played it at Climax. The melody was just so amazing. I, I just love it. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to of how I remake them. And uh, let's see if you can learn something. So the first thing I'm going to do is remake the melody. Just you know the do 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 do. You know that melody. Now. Here is where the melody starts, so I'm gonna start from here. So yeah, I have a MIDI right here, but I'm not going. To, well, I'm, I am going to use that one because otherwise I have to spend like a quarter of an hour just, you know, remaking the melody, and I already have it. So why should I do that? Don't know. So I have just a basic sign up one preset. I always use that one because you can hear it clearly because this does not really sound like the synth used in the track so what I always do is I just play the track and then plays notes well that's the first note you know it sounds the same right if I would place it one down you, uh, you can basically imme immediately hear that it's, it's a wrong note. You can just hear it's wrong, so... That's how I do it basically, the whole melody, long. That's the wrong one. And that's the right one. So the, the the this melody is triplet. And yeah. For triplet just go to one third step. And then you can place three notes. And they will fit. If you keep it all line that's the default it doesn't fit as you can see so just put it on one third step or one sixth step doesn't really matter but yeah let's continue then with the melody Yeah, that's why I do the whole melody long, and it sounds like this. Doesn't really sound good now, but I'll get to that. So the whole melody is like this. I'll just put on my portamento. I've 
forgot some pitch bends. So let's fix that. And I also remember I did a note wrong, which is right here. So this is the melody. So yeah, that's it. Now the next thing I'm doing is figuring out the bass line. And I do that by assigning this one to a new mixer track. Cut off all the high frequencies. So you only have the bass. And this is most useful in the drop because you hear the bass clearly. It will turn up my volume. Now, then I open picture put this one to mine of min to 25 hertz and you can see the notes then so this melody starts with a C bass note and it just follows the melody Just copy the melody, put it down, now the annoying thing is you have to, you have to place all the notes on kind of the same line. delete the base or the departmental uh, or are they called yeah just the sliding notes that's the wrong one picture is in demo mode so I don't always hear it ah, it's two notes not sure if that's right Just do that for uh, all the bass notes. I hope I have them as a MIDI file as well. 
Um, nope, this is the second. Let me really quickly just export the base. Um, let's see. Export as MIDI. You can't see this. I'm on my other screen. Uh, just my desktop. Okay. Now let's grab it. Right here. Anyways, um, let's make the top lead. Now, in the original, you kind of hear a square lead with some distortion, maybe. So, we're just gonna make that. It's all about your ears, basically. Um, okay, so make this pulse and we're nearly there <laughs> put some distortion on it now do this pitch a b put it a bit down put this the dk a bit up so you get that kind of rising sound Now you can let it wobble a bit if you want. Just a little bit. That's too much. guess that's the first lead um, we're making put it to a new mixer track let's roll off all the lows one thing I also always do is on my master put a an EQ to roll off all the high ends above 15 kilohertz because well, you're not needing them. So yeah. Also, I always put all the mixture tracks down so you won't have to worry about clipping. And on my master channel, I put a limiter. But I'm not limiting anything. I'm gonna put the ceiling and the gain up to gain the volume. And uh, yeah, maybe do it again. Let's see, where is it? Limiter. There it is. Oh, now we're clipping. Somewhere around here, so your mixture tracks won't clip. Your master is easily controllable. Now the second lead we're gonna make. Um, I don't really know how to call it. I think a super saw, kind of. Put it to a new mixture track. Put 
the D Jones up. <laughs> D Jones. <laughs> Tricks off for you know not that kind of weird punchy effect pretty high melody so the notes are going to be pretty high I think it's time for a kind of distorted lead which is pretty easy just get a saw Put some distortion on it. And then a chorus. for the well to kind of get that distorted sound as you can see we're clipping so put this down too much distortion and just adjust the volumes pretty good already in my opinion I just EQ a bit I like super sauce to be well, pretty bright so I put the high end up roll of the low ends on this one as we did with this one basically do the same with the other ones just to get it cut well it's not really a punchy sound but I don't know how to explain that sound basically actually it's just rising a bit a simple bass. Now if you listen closely you'll hear some tick at the end of some notes. Two ways to get rid of that. Put the release up, that's one way. 
the other way is just to remove uh, the highs from the base but I like this technique because it's easier and yeah if you have a distortion on the base you also have a, a bit of highs and if you roll them off you, you know destroy the effect of the distortion so that's why I prefer the release they maybe can even be an octave lower how is it in the original the bass does it go high low or low high let's see the melody goes from low to high or from high to low sorry so let's put this an octave up clipping now let's add another one um, I'm going to use a bass which Fruity Masters made I like it so I use it <laughs> uh, let's see where is it Fruity Bass lead it's pretty cool now let's remove the slides because I don't like that one so then I just remove it if I don't like something I'll remove it what it does it just if your first note is here and the next note is here when this note begins it kind of slides from C sharp to E that's what it does I don't like that that's an extreme example but yeah that's what it does Another thing I like to do is just enter insert nexus, remove the reverb, and then you have a pretty nice saw. Which you also can use as a kind of bass. Really gives a crunchy sound to your bass. Maybe missing something. Yeah, we're missing something. And that's the chords. We're going to do the chords next. So, a lot of people, including myself, kind of thought chords will, were really difficult, but actually it's pretty easy. Now, I admit, I always use a website to, uh, to see what skill the melody is in. Basically how I do it is I just go to Google Chrome then go then type in Google what scale is this and then go to the first link and basically what you do is you have your melody notes right here you just put them in so at the beginning is a C sharp then a G sharp then a D sharp, an E, F 
sharp. Uh, do we have other new notes? A B. Just fill in as much notes as you can. Yeah, I think that's it. Click find me a skill. And uh, most of the times it's the top one. It's E major. So then we go to the sampler. And as I mentioned in my uh, well, kind of art style tutorial series, make the skill in the sampler because it won't make any sounds. How you do that is uh, place the root note, skip one, go up, skip one, go up, place one di directly, skip one, go up, skip one, go up, skip one, go up, and that's the skill. Then copy it up and down and wherever you want to. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Then just you can do this if you want. If you don't want, well then don't do this. It's just my way of working. Now this is not the only way to remake to remake tracks. This is just how I do it. Now then chords will become pretty easy. Basically, just get some super sauce. Oh. Super saw. Maybe a uh, bells. Why not? <laughs> Copy the baseline. Then clone this, put it an octave up. And then uh, skip the next note in the scale, put it above that one. And again, skip the next note in the skill and put it above that one. Now some notes aren't right because they're not in the skill, so you, you can just fix that. Basically do that for all the notes which are wrong. I think that's it. Yeah. Now this melody is a great example of a lot of space between the chords. It may sound weird if you go from very high to very low. So the way to not get that put the highest note an octave down then you have less space between the highest and the lowest note you can do that again if you want it's the same chord but just different order of notes but as you can hear it's very low so we can put an octave up gonna do it like this I always clone it into this uh, sorry do this because it's just it sounds fuller I forgot to put this to 16 this will basically tell you 
how many notes it will play at the same time. So if you want one note to play at the same time, you put it to one and it just plays one note. Now it can play up to 16 notes, which is great for chords. This one is bad. Don't see why though. Maybe it's not the E major skill, but the B major skill. That's possible. Sounds bad anyway. must be an C. So my theory is not always right, you just see that, but yeah, the ears are your most important instrument. again and yeah again I'm gonna go to his preset oh, because I really like this kind of chord lead in my opinion it sounds very good play them all together. It sounds okay. Not really special yet. But that's when we get into the processing of the leads. So all the Sign of one leads. Put it to a bus. Just call this lead bus or whatever. Give it the color. Put a Q on it, and just to be sure, roll of the highs of the lows. I'm sorry. Just tweak the EQ a bit. That's what I'm doing now. That's how it should be. Now, in my opinion, the distorted sound is a bit, um, yeah, too loud. So I'm just going to put it down. Next, reverb. You don't want any lows, not that we're getting it because we just cut it off, but yeah, 
just put it low head cuts a bit up just to be sure I also put the high cut up to max room size up to max color to warm or bright or flat sure well, you know what you like best put the high damping up a bit decay it to around three to five seconds and then the mix to about 25 or less then I'm going to use so uh, then I'm going to use some compression just to raise the volume of the uh, reverb when there is not a note played so let's see how loud this gets around 20 minus 24 db so put this to around i don't know 35 put the attack a bit down ratio a bit up and of course enable compression you can already hear that it works i'm going to give you an kind of extreme example as you can see it really boosts, boosts the reverb but you don't want to do it too much you know So yeah, then just add a bit of delay. Let's put the time to four. So you have, if you play a note, you have do 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 do. You know, if you put it to three, it sounds too fast. If you play it in the melody, now again, this was an extreme example because I put the volume up high. Now put it lower, feedback maybe a bit longer because then you hear the delay longer. But it's the ping pong, so you it goes from left to right to left to right in your ears. Sorry, right to left. Then put the stereo separation a bit up so it gets more stereo. Now let's do the chords. Basically do the same, route them to the bus, give it a name, chords, bus, give it a color, other kind of blue, and basically just do the same, EQ it. Reverb. Let's 
basically kind of the same process as the lead. Some compression. Let's see how loud it gets. Kind of the same. Me personally, I don't do delays on leads because, uh, yeah, I just don't do that or on chords. I mean, sorry. Now uh, I probably have to put the bass up. this six oh I routed it to the lead bus yeah we don't want that Sounds like this. Now just add an impact. Sweep. Add a clap. And then basically we're kind of done with the melody. That's too loud. The clap must be there, but it's well. It must must not be very loud, you know. It's not like big room where you hear the claps really loud. Why do I suck at this? Come on, it's not that hard. It probably is. Yep. Alright, so this is what we ended up for. Well, right now. Let's see if I did a good job. The bass is too loud. Wait a second. The sweep is way too loud, sorry. Uh, actually, don't really like this impact, but whatever. You know what it, you know what I mean. Now 
now it's just the process of um, fine tuning, stuff like that. So yeah, for today, um, I guess this is the final result for what we have now. It's, it's a pretty long tutorial, but yeah, that's basically how I do it. Um, yeah. So I hope you learned something, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, leave a like if you did, and if not then don't, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of new to tutorials so if you have anything on what I can improve on, or if you have anything that I can uh, learn from you, just let me know. And uh, See you later.